musician? Do you uh, work every day in, in music or do you uh, work in other kind of job? Mm, what happened with that? Okay, we have uh, different activities. Uh, music is very important to us uh, since 20 years, but you have also other activities. Uh, uh, he builds uh, furniture, for example, very strange one. Wow. And Giovanni works with uh, with the old people and helps them uh, psychologically. Yeah. And then you have uh, Ricardo who works with the environment, uh, I guess pollution and things like that. And I personally give lessons of uh, French, Italian, and English. So uh, everybody has different activities, but uh, we put. Uh, a lot of time in music as well, uh, both on recording, mixing, and uh, on uh, rehearsing and playing live all over the world. So. But you shared your life with the yeah. music. We share, we share it both of them. And Nadal didn't know me? Pues no. No? Ha dicho todo ella. Pero acerca de lo que tú haces, te me interesante. Pues yo hago un trabajo de, bueno, de muebles de, y camilla, de, de, como de sillas. Uh -huh. de diseño ah. así que se puede decir que siempre estoy en contacto con el arte pero sí. es un trabajo claro. y cuando un trabajo eh, claro. lo, lo ves como un trabajo el arte es, pasa un poquito en a segundo sí. plano no exactamente pero al final de cuentas sigues en contacto pones tu imaginación a andar cada vez que estás creando algo pues lo bueno es que en mi trabajo eh, tengo mucho tiempo para pensar Así que pienso a lo que me gusta mientras, tra mientras eh, trabajo. Es una bonita silla. <ríe> bueno, eh, toco mentalmente al trabajo y toco realmente cuando no trabajo. En Mexican culture. Eh, I know that you, you like a lot of, of countries, about the culture, about the, um, all, the, all the environment. About the Mexican culture, do you know something? Uh, I've written uh, some some books and uh, I was uh, very interested in one book where your ancient civilizations, pre-Columbian civilization, Aztec and Maya, and uh, both here in Mexico and also in Peru, uh, with Incas. And so uh, I've, we have visited some places, very interesting ones, because uh, we feel the contact with the uh, archaeological sites and the ancient stone and the energy. Yeah, and all what is tribal and old and older organizations of life. It's very interesting to us. I've also studied ancient history, so for me it's really, really <laughs> interesting. And we hope in the future to, to put some of those elements uh, in our music. We would like to put some inspiration about the your ancient. Sí. Yo lo que te puedo decir, decir es que me gusta más vivir que leer, así que uh, me ha gustado mucho lo que he visto en sus días en, para la fiesta de los muertos, sí, te tocó porque la es una, una confrontarse con, uh, con la muerte claro. que es muy diferente de otros países. Totalmente, de hecho en México es creo que de los pocos países que le hacen una fiesta a la muerte, ¿no? Y es para algunos países a lo mejor es entierrado, raro, pero igual es una muy buena tradición, al menos a, a mi parecer, ¿no? Sí, lo, lo, lo que, que me parece es que es un, una forma de aceptar eh, la muerte. Exacto, no temerle, ¿no? no sí, temerle. Exactamente, temerla. Life and death are together, one because the other, so they are both part of our but sometimes uh, the people is afraid yes, of that. Yeah. Talking about Mexican, what about the Mexican friends? Mm -hmm. What did you expect for the show tonight? Bueno, lo que ha pasado ayer, por ejemplo, friends, amigos. Exactly. Eh, mm -hmm. Tener contacto con la gente y hablar con la gente, y si no se puede, um, de todas formas, un, um, un compartir de una noche, que no es un concierto, pero es un, una, una, un bueno, ¿cómo se puede decir? Un, Como una fiesta entre ustedes, entre su, sus sí, amigos. todos estamos en el mismo, en, en, en la misma eh, agrupación. Exacto. Uh, the last time was uh, five years ago, so I'm very, very happy to be here again, because I feel that Mexican listeners are warmer than yeah. <laughs> and also very sensitive uh, 
relationship to our sound. I don't know why there are some countries in the world where we have found a very sensitive people who understand his way of uh, playing classical guitar and mm -hmm. why you're seeing it. So Mexico is one of those places I'm very, mm -hmm. very happy and excited. It's very warm, no? Shout out loud, they jump, they <laughs> sing with, with the band. Who, what is the next for Atarazia? Uh, you're talking about the future. We have something we know. <laughs> no, but maybe some plan, uh, some books, some, I don't know, day -day, something like that. What's look at Yega Yega. It's uh, we are going to, to go in studio with the coming year in February or March to record a new album that will be the following of uh, Paris Clean that was a sort of dark cabaret album. Mm -hmm. So it, there will be uh, songs that are quite different from the ones we play tonight, but uh, there will be performances in a theatrical show with actors, mm -hmm. so, so it will be something different. Oh, very different, and I think that very nice. And also we have some concerts uh, that we are going to play in uh, Romania, in uh, France and in Italy, especially um, this kind of things. Uh, and like wow. Uh, thank you very much. I don't know if you want to say something from your Mexican friends. Mm -hmm. oh, we are very happy to be here again and we hope to give you a very, very nice show tonight uh, and hope it to be here again in the future. So can you join, yeah. Thank you very much. And welcome to Mexico again. Thanks. Esto es todo. Esto fue la entrevista con Atalaxia. Espero les agrade.